Welcome to Bedside Ultrasound. We're going to talk about scanning modes today and uh, essentially the basics of those. Uh, there are several scanning modes in which you can use uh, when you're performing bedside ultrasound. Uh, we're going to focus on B mode ultrasound today or brightness mode. This may also be referred to as 2D ultrasound and uh, hopefully by the end of the lecture you'll understand why it uh, has these several names. Um, but this will be the mode that you typically scan um, whether it be in the emergency department, ICU, or clinic, wherever it may be. Uh, this is our basic scanning mode. So bean mode or brightness mode refers to brightness uh, of the grayscales which we see on an ultrasound image. So as we look at this ultrasound image there's several grayscale uh, pixels here and that's what brightness mode refers to. Also um, many call it a 2D uh, mode and this refers to the fact that there's an x-axis that as we go across the, the screen x and a y-axis. Um, when we look at uh, B mode, ultrasound, 2D ultrasound, we mostly need to orient ourselves on the screen. So uh, a couple easy ways to do that is we want to see where our probe marker is pointed. So on the probe there will be a probe marker and on this uh, little uh, picture here we can see that the probe marker is pointed towards the right. So that probe marker correlates with this indicator. And so those two always correlate. Uh, wherever your probe marker is pointed is where the indicator is on the patient. And so in this case, we can see that this is the patient's right. And directly opposite that is the patient's left. So our x-axis across here from left or from this side to the other is, is uh, going from right to left. Now, wherever we place the probe is going to be at the top of the screen. Wherever we aim that probe, think of it like a flashlight, wherever you're aiming it at, uh, is going to be where what's at the bottom of your screen. So if we have the probe on the anterior portion of the patient and we're directing it straight towards the back, we're going to come back to the posterior portion of the patient. And that's our y-axis. So in this case, where we have the probe placed on the patient's uh, anterior abdomen, the ep epigastric region, and it's pointed toward the patient's uh, right side. So here, we're going to identify some anatomy before we see a live video of this. We see the liver here. Comes up. You can see a little bit of our portal system and splenic vein coming across here. Deep to that we have our IVC and then we have our SMA and then deep to the SMA is the aorta and then deep to that we see the vertebral body. So let's go ahead and see that in live video um, so we can see those structures again. Vertebrae here, deep. We have our aorta here. SMA is coming off of that. We see the splenic vein coming across here to the portal system right in there. And here's our IVC and then our big liver over here. So once again, our probe marker is towards the patient's right. And that's our x-axis coming across. We see the patient's left over here directly opposite that. And then we have anterior where the patient, uh, the probe is placed on the patient and where we're aiming that is posterior. So we get our 2D image, um, which is a uh, scale of... Uh, uh, a gray scale of uh, different brightnesses of gray and uh, that helps us appreciate what we're seeing here. So that's a B mode or 2D mode ultrasound and this is what you'll typically scan in. Um, just make sure you get yourself oriented so as you identify your structures and that will help you out the most to, to uh, see that live anatomy. So let us know if you have any questions or comments and uh, thanks for listening.